Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video and we probably had the biggest breaking news of all time. Like this has never happened in Call of Duty before and there's just so much to talk about. Black Ops 3 has DLC 6 out right now. A new event, a new DLC weapon, plus the game is literally completely free. So much to talk about today, it's just absolutely insane. Smack a like on this video, I'll be explaining every single thing you guys need to know. Let's go for 805 likes, that'd be awesome. Smack that like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and not already subscribed. So basically at E3, they were talking about Black Ops 4, and while doing a Black Ops 4 announcement, they announced Black Ops 3. And now the first thing that they announced is that the maps that are going to be playable in Black Ops 4, Slums from Black Ops 2, Jungle BO1, Firing Range BO1, and Summit and BO1 are now available in a Black Ops 3. There's a 1.30 update. And if you guys pre-order through the PlayStation Store, you have to do it through the PlayStation Store. Unfortunately, it doesn't work if you do GameStop or anything like that. You're gonna you basically if you do that, you have access to the new back in black playlist, which is on Black Ops 3 with those maps as well. So slums, jungle, fire range, summit, classic Treyarch Black Ops games or maps are now in black ops 3 and those ones are not really free because i guess you have to pre-order the game which costs you know whatever 60 bucks but if you're going to buy black ops 4 anyway which i'm assuming most call of duty fans are you can get that right now as a bonus now what else they announced is absolutely insane they announced that literally black ops 3 is free right now for anyone on PlayStation 4 who has PlayStation Plus. Now, of course, PlayStation Plus, the equivalent of Xbox Live, you need it to play online anyway, so everyone should have who plays PlayStation 4. So if you're someone that has PS4 and maybe you play World War II, maybe you just play Fortnite, you don't own Black Ops 3. From now, June 11th through July 11th, if you're a PlayStation Plus member, you can literally get this $60 game for free to download and i'm pretty sure you get this game it'll last you past this month i'm not really sure but it's absolutely insane call of duty has never done something like this where it, i mean the most they've ever done is free for a weekend or something they've never literally just given out a game free and this is a huge promotion and everything is crazy. So for you PlayStation people who don't have Black Ops 3, log on right now. Go to the PlayStation PlayStation Store. If you're a PS Plus member, you can get Black Ops 3 for free. Now, unfortunately, we don't really know anything about X Xbox people if this is going to be an offer coming to them in the future or anything like that. But that's what we have as far as PlayStation uh, exclusive stuff as of right now. So kind of unfortunate for Xbox people. But that's how you can get Black Ops 3 free, which means a lot of different things. Number one this means the player base has just completely increased because free to play of course a game like fortnite that's free to play even h1z1 on ps4 when a game is free to play the player base there, there's no bar for entry and doing this on black ops 3 of course black ops 3 is a three-year-old game or whatever but the, the the thing with black ops 3 and it's more like two and a half years old almost three um is that Black Ops 3 has had such a long life cycle and the fact that now it's available free, the fan base is going to increase, the player base is going to be increased, which is amazing for someone like me that loves the community and loves the Black Ops 3 community as well as all Call of Duty and basically all gaming communities as well. And also, there's going to be a lot of new players, so a lot of pub stomping newbie players you're going to be able to, to destroy in the game and also more people getting into Call of Duty coming up into Black Ops 4, which is absolutely awesome. So that's what we have right now. Those four maps are in Black Ops. 3 right now with the 7 gigabyte update the game is also free if you're on playstation you don't have it already and of course those four maps will also be in black ops 4 now we also have something else we have a 1.30 update which is around 7 gigabytes which is available on um playstation 4 xbox one and pc now i'm not sure if it's seven gigabytes on all consoles but that's how much it is on the playstation 4 this of course comes with the back in black maps which are firing range jungle slums and summit but those are only available on the playstation 4 for people that pre-order black ops 4 also operation heatwave is now live for all consoles what operation heatwave is is basically like they had operation snowblind before it's a new event Operation Heatwave contains snipers only, team deathmatch only allowing snipers, sticks and stones, free for all eliminate enemies using the NX Shadow Claw, Claw or Ballistic Knife, combat axe kills will reset the enemy score to zero. Of course, sticks and stones from uh, notoriously from Black Ops 1 was like a wager match and it was super fun. And sniping only is something we've seen multiple times throughout different Call of Duty games. That's what we have as far as that. Now we also have two new DLC weapons in this game. 
The new DLC weapons are the, uh, I believe it is the MK-14 uh, or something like that, and it is the, uh, which is basically a semi-automatic gun, and you also have the Dragoon, which is a bolt-action sniper. So that's what the, what the new guns are available in the game as of right now. Um, I'm just going to check and uh, make sure we, we know what those guns are going to be. Yeah, you have the M14, and then you have the Dragoon. So the Dragoon is more of your bolt-action one-shot sort of sniper, and the M14 is your classic. You guys know how the M14 works. It's a semi semi-automatic gun two shot kill i was lucky enough to pull this from a supply drop and i'll probably upload footage of that as well as footage from gameplays from the new maps and there's just a lot of stuff to talk about but as of right now black ops 3 is free and this is huge news leading up into black ops 4 now a lot of people are going to say what do we get as far as people who actually paid for the game since it's free now uh, we got the game for three years so i don't think we're really going to get anything i think we should just be happy that the fan base is expanding and i think the reason why they're doing this is of course number one they want to um by adding those maps into black ops 3 it's it's driving pre-orders for black ops 4 me personally i mean i was obviously going to get black ops 4 but i hadn't gotten around to pre-order ordering it yet because i was lazy but as soon as this news came out i immediately pre-ordered and now they have my pre-order uh downloaded so you can do that and then you download the update seven gigs and then you're right on as far as making the game free number one it'll get the absolute hype up for black ops 4 It'll bring more players into the, the series or into the franchise with Black Ops 3. They don't really lose much by making this game free to download for this month on PlayStation. And it also brings more hype and more attention towards Black Ops 4, which of course is going to be super huge, especially with the Blackout uh, game mode they have with the Battle Royale. As we know, Battlefield 5 also contained in Battle Royale. The future of video games is looking bright. Some people are pessimistic about it that everyone's doing the same sort of stuff, but they're doing it in their own sort of ways. And as, and as long as this Battle Royale and all these new crazy stuff coming to call of duty don't change the core multiplayer and the aspects that we all love as far as the game i don't think there's really a problem with this but i'm super 100 excited for this so this that's all the news we have as of right now i think that this is awesome for fans of black ops 3 because it's just making the community bigger it's going to be easier to find matches there's going to be no, more new players there's going to be more people in the youtube reddit twitter communities which is amazing and as far as p fans of other call of duty games maybe you don't own black ops 3 and you're on playstation 4 and you're playing world war 2 right now or you're playing infinite warfare go ahead and hop on and if you're a playstation plus member grab that game for free as of right now um and that's about it guys i got a lot of videos to work on i got some new weapons out the m14 the dragoon sniper uh, m14 assault rifle uh, four new DLC maps. This is basically DLC 6 unofficially. And I got a lot of work to do. So thank you guys for watching. I'll leave you guys with the rest of this gameplay. Um, just me slaying out with the Vesper. Um, but that's about it for as far as the news. Smack a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Have a great day. A uh, great night. And I'm out. Peace.